Hi there, and welcome back to SPF 30. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. And once again, us is just me, James, um, but I really appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to do our warm up, our workout portion, and then our cool down slash stretching. Our focus today is going to be on chest and back. Okay, so working our chest muscles and our back muscles. All right. I'm using the looped bands. Again, I have four levels of resistance. If you're using the tubed bands, which is the ones that we started out using in the, in the earlier episodes, those are completely fine. You should be able to follow along with those. Um, if you have free weights, those should be fine as well. And once again, if you don't have any equipment, feel free to follow along with the motions, um, just doing it, uh, following along with the motions free of any equipment. Let's get into it, but first we're going to open in prayer. Father, thank you for this time. Thank you so much for this day. Thank you for who you are, Lord. I pray that during this time our minds are, uh, are focused, Father. I pray that even you give us the uh, ability and, uh, and opportunity to uh, experience um, this, life, uh, this life experience, this workout. Um, in a way that we can have a focus on saying, this is 30 minutes of my life that's important, Lord, but that also every minute of my life is significant um, because of your involvement in it, Lord. So during this time to see it as what it is, 30 minutes, but also as what you've made it, Lord, is just such a gift to us, Father. So thank you for those tuning in. Thank you for those on the production side, Lord. Thank you for Corey and Robbie and all those, all the others who were uh, able to join us um, in, uh, in, in helping out with this in the past episodes, Lord. Uh, it feels like we've been doing this for a little while now. So I'm just very thankful for uh, everyone who's been involved. And uh, we praise you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. So let's get into our warm-up. We're going to do a wide stance. Bending at the knees, down, hands out in front, up over the head for one, down, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one, very good. Forward circles, warm those shoulders up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, one, good. Reverse that for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, two, one, good. Let's do that first one one more time. Wide stance. Bend at the knees down. Hands up over the head for one. Get that breathing started in. Two. Three, good. Four. Five. Six. Seven, good. Three more. Three. Two. And one, very good. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna use the lightest level of resistance to start, okay? I've said this before, but I like to start light and then work my way up from there, progress from there, um, instead of having to go down to drop down because it was a little too difficult to start. I'd rather start light and then work my way up as the sets progress. So let's start with our upright fly, so we're going to be working the chest to start. A little bit of shoulders involved. Palms are facing up, feet about shoulder width apart. And let's bring the hands right up to shoulder height for one. Two, good. Three. Four. Five, good. Six. Seven, three more. Three, 
two, and one, very good. We're gonna cross the band. Okay, so if you have, if you have the handled bands, you're gonna cross it, so there's gonna be like basically an X made with the band in front of you. Slight bend at the waist. We're gonna do a reverse fly now, so work in the back. So we did chest, now we're gonna work the back for one. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Very good. Let's keep it crossed. I'm gonna turn my palms facing in. Okay, standing up straight. And we're gonna do our upright row. Little bit of shoulders, little bit of upper chest involved. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, good. And three, two, one, very good. Bend back at the back to uh, uh, bend at the waist, looking over the feet, and we're gonna do our bent over row this time. So another one for back. I'm gonna grip a little lower on the band, bringing the elbows in for one, two, good. Up and in with the elbows. Three. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Four. Five, good. Six. Seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Very good. So we did four exercises there. So we did chest, back, chest, shoulders, and then back, back to back. All right, standing up straight, palms facing up, upright fly, hands coming up to shoulder height. Ready? One, good. Two, three, four, five, you got it. Six, seven, and three, two, one, very good. Remember, cross that band. We're gonna do our reverse fly. So bent at the waist, looking over the feet. Ready, keep that, keep that tailbone tucked in, nice flat back, good posture. Bring those hands out to the side. For one, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, one, very good. Standing up straight, nice and tall. Upright row, palms facing in. Bring the elbows up for one, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, and three, Two, one, very good. Bent at the waist again, gripping a little bit lower on the band. Bent over rows. So remember, elbows come up and in. One, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, Seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Great job. I'm gonna go up a little bit in resistance. So just the second level up, okay? Once again, if you have just one band, you can adjust the resistance by just taking up that tension, by adding tension, by taking up the slack in the band. Feet centered, third set. Upright fly, palms facing out, 
Hands coming up to shoulder height. Ready. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Push it at the top. Six. Seven. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Very good. Cross the band. We're doing our reverse fly. Looking down over the feet, bent at the waist. Ready. Bring those hands out to the side. Four. One. Two. Good. Three. Four. You got it. Five. Six. Seven. And three, two, last one. One, very good. Standing up straight, upright row, elbows lead the way, ready. One, two, three, four, good. Five, six, Seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Very good. Looking down over the feet again, bent at the waist, bent over row, elbows come up and in. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, Seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Very good. Grab some water. Awesome job. Got four exercises in that set. I'm going to come back down to that lighter resistance. Let's do some presses. So we've done these before when working chest. What we're going to do is if you have the handle bends, I would say that you grip inside of the handles. We're gonna bring the band around the back under the shoulder blades, and we're gonna press right from this position. Hands up just below shoulder height. We're gonna press straight out. Ready? One. Two, good. Three. Four. Five, good. Six. Seven. And three. Two. One, very good. Take up the slack on, the, on that left side. So you're gonna bring the slack in on that left side. So it should be longer on that left side. We're taking up the slack. So that right side, that press, it's gonna be more difficult. What we're, and what we're gonna do is a fly, okay? So we're holding our right hand. I like to bring it across, hold it stationary at the chest, and then bring that left hand across to center. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, you got it, seven, Three, two, one, good. Switch sides, so we're taking up the slack. It's gonna be on that left side. Hold that right hand in. Bring that left hand across to center. One, two, good. Three, four, five, good. Six, Seven, and three, two, one. Very good, nice isolation there. Bring that band around to the front. Shake those hands out, we were holding that grip, gets a little tight. We're gonna do a reverse fly standing up straight, taking up the slack once again so you can let that band hang out in front. 
Hands are straight out at shoulder height. And what we're going to do is extend those hands out to the side. Squeeze those shoulder blades together for one, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, push it, three more, three, two, one, good. Shake them out, really feel that in the back. We're gonna do an isolated one now, similar to that chest fly. We're gonna bring that, let's see, left hand forward, okay? And then extend that right hand out to the side. Okay, so hold that left hand stationary. Bring the right hand out to the side. One, two, three, four, Five, good. Six, squeeze, seven, three more. Three, two, one, great job. Let those arms down. We're gonna switch to the other side. Right hand out, stationary. Let's bring that left hand out to the side. Squeeze, one, good. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Great job. Woo! Shake those arms out. Really feel that. I'm going to go up one level. This should be fun of resistance, and I'm going to grab some water. And let's bring it around. Band goes under those shoulder blades. Once again, we're going to do that chest press. Okay, if you're wondering, I am stalling. Let's bring it around. We're gonna press straight out, remember. Okay, ready? Press. One, bring those hands to center. Two. Three. Four, good. Five. Six, you can even turn those elbows up at the end of that motion. Seven. Three, two, and one. Very good. We're going to do that fly from that right side. This band has plenty of tension in it now. If you need to, once again, take up that slack on that left side, holding that left hand stationary. We're going to fly to center. One, good. Two, three, four, good. Five, six, you got it. Seven, and three, two, one, very good. Switch to that other side. Okay, take up the slack if you need to on that right side. Hold that right hand stationary, flying to center with that left hand. One, two, good. Three, four, Five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, one. Great job. Let that band down. Shake those arms out a little bit. We're going to do that reverse fly. Okay, hands out in front. If you can, bring those hands closer together to take up that tension, make it a little bit more resistant. Hands straight out, extend, one, oh yeah, two, good, three, four, hold it for a split second at the end of that motion, five, six, control it back, seven, three, two, and one, very good. Let those arms down. This fourth one's gonna be fun. All right, so let's hold that left hand out stationary. Isolated reverse fly on that right side. Ready, 
One, two, three, four, good, you got this. Five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Great job, let those arms down. Move into that left side. Right hand is straight out in front. Here we go, same resistance. Ready, pull it out. One, two, squeeze. Three, four, five, six. You got this. Seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Very good. Sometimes it really helps to breathe through them. So breathing out when that motion is coming out, breathing out on the exertion. I'm gonna stay right here on this resistance. We're gonna do a third set of presses. Bring it around the back. Under those shoulder blades. Ready, we're gonna press straight out. Begin. One, two, good. Three, Four, five, good. Six, seven, three more. Three, two, one, very good. Really starting to feel it now. Let's do that fly. So taking up the slack if you can on that left side, bringing that right hand to center. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, good. One, good, switch sides, we got this. Ready, left to center, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Awesome job, let's bring it around to the front. Reverse fly, deep breath, here we go. Hands out in front, extending those hands out to the side. And begin, one, good, squeeze it. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Great job, drop those arms. Isolated coming up. Here we go. Left hand stays stationary, right hand extending out, ready. Squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one. Great job, drop the arms right into it. Left hand extending out, keep that right hand stationary. Four, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three, two, one. Great job. Woo, drop the band, grab some water. Take a deep breath in. Almost there. All right, let's go back down to a lighter level of resistance. I just want to do one for full body. We'll kind of, it's not a cool down, but just getting those legs involved. We've done chest and back the whole time. So let's just give, our, give them a little bit of a rest. We really worked a lot on those. We did four in that one group and then four exercises in that next group. And we're just going to use the band coming down, bending at the knees, across 
Let's go to that right side and then up and across to that left side. Down, bending the knees, head nice and high, shoulders high. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, five, good, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one, good, switch sides, here we go, same thing, left to right, down, and across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one, very good. I'm gonna bring the band under my feet, okay? And what we're gonna do, let's see, this should be able to work. We're gonna have the band under our feet, okay? Even if you have that um, tubed band with the handles, this should work. So you could, what you can do is drop the handles to the side. The feet are gonna hold that band in place and you should be able to pull that band from between the feet up. What we're gonna do is come down and then use a little bit of that resistance to work that lower back. It's almost like a deadlift. So down, one, down, two, good. Down, three, down, four, just bending at the waist, down, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one, very good. Leave that band down there. Let's do that second set just from this position. So we're gonna come right, bring it up over the left. One, down, two, down, three, four, down, five, six, seven, three more, three, two, and one, very good, switch sides, left to right. Make believe you're grabbing something by that left leg, throwing it up over the right. One, two, three, four, five, good. Six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one, awesome job. Second set, deadlift. Deadlift, drop, uh, drop down, grab that band from between the feet. We're gonna come down, bending at the waist. Stand up straight. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, Two, and one, very good, drop that band. We got one more set of each. Right to left, down, over that left shoulder. One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, and three. Three, two, one, good. Left to right, down and across. One, two, three, four, five, good. Six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Great job, one more set. Grab that band from between the feet. If you can, you can grip a little bit lower on it to take up that slack. Add the resistance, ready, standing up straight. One, good. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six, seven, three more. Three, two, and one. Great job. Okay, drop the band, grab some water. Let's get into our scripture. So I was looking at 1 Corinthians 3, 6, and it's where it says, um, I think it's Paul talking about, yeah, it's Paul saying, I sowed the seed, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has, has been making it grow. And I was just thinking about that, and we're a part of the process, right? We're a part of the process, planting the seed, if you think of a farmer, watering it, but is there ever a guarantee that that seed's going to grow? And I guess I could think of it in, a, in terms of saying, oh man, like, I guess there isn't a guarantee, so should I, should I plant the seed, should I water it at all? But trusting that God is the one who gives us even, even the opportunity to plant the seed, to know what the seed is, right, to even care to plant the seed, and then to give God credit and appreciate him for giving the increase, for, for giving the opportunity, the, what would you call it, life, strength, power, um, the miracle of life, the miracle of growth, um, for even allowing us to experience that. Um, humbles me, um, makes me appreciative, um, makes me grateful, thankful, um, and, and being in a place of appreciating God's gift um, puts me in a position of freedom, of peace, of rest, of joy, for sure, to appreciate it in such a good way, and to even say that, Lord, you've made me, um, you've made me the farmer in your, in your land, right? You've allowed me to be the vessel. And that's what it is in the long run. We are just his vessel. I think it even says that further down um, in 1 Corinthians 3. It says, because we are his vessel, um, we are his, I'm not sure the other word that they use, but we are the building um, that he's working through. He's the planter. He's the waterer. And he's certainly the one that's giving the growth and giving the increase. Um, and just to be a part of that is extremely humbling. So I pray that for myself I can have that perspective of being a part of it, but also trusting that God is the one that's in control and makes those decisions, that has a plan, um, that's really just moving and orchestrating and organizing everything. And it's always relative to his character. So I would say that I pray for myself and us that we can get to know him and that that knowledge will build trust, and that trusting him will allow us to move in faith, and then that will continue to allow us to get to know him and continue that cycle. So let's get into our cool down. With that being said, wide stance. We're going to bend at the waist down, hands out in front, deep breath in. Let it out for one. Down. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and three, two, and one. Good. And let's hold this hamstring stretch at the bottom for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, very good. Let's bring it to that right side. It'll be your right side. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Switch sides and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good. Let's bring the right arm across. We did chest and back today, so we really want to stretch that back, shoulder, chest area for 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. And hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's bring that right arm behind. Stretch the tricep for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, switch and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, wide stance. We're gonna bring the, let's do right arm up and across for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch, reach across for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Father, thank you so much for this time, Lord. Thank you that we can be together and uh, grow healthier physically, Lord. I pray that you give us a perspective today of uh, always having a, a direction to move in, Father. I pray that you, you lead us in the direction of righteousness, Lord, of holiness, of perfection, Lord. I pray that today we're open and willing and ready um, to change and grow and that we can appreciate the process, Lord. We do pray uh, specifically uh, for Robert and Joyce and Carter and Jordan and their family and just continued uh, trust and faith. Um, and, and we do pray for healing, Lord, in Robert's life. Uh, thank you for what you've done thus far. Uh, I pray for uh, just all of us right now, Lord, that we grow to know you more, to trust you more, um, and to, to have our behaviors um, relate to our knowledge and trust of you, Lord. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys so much. God bless.